Hello, this is a quick video um, to show you how to create a grade center report. Perhaps at midterms or finals you want to have a list of all the grades um, a student has accumulated over time um, and you want to maybe meet with them individually so you can you can provide the report to each student. So um, whatever your reasons for wanting a list of the grades for students, um, this is how you do it. So from the full grade center, under the reports um, link, you'll just click create report. Um, you can give the um, report a name, you have to give it a name. Um, it, it defaults to the current date um, and you know institution name, you can change that if you want to. This is just a pretend course of mine, so the names are kind of weird. Um, so anyway, so you can create the report for all users, you know, users in a group or individual users. And maybe I just want to give a report to one student, um, but it defaults to all users. And it will just show their first and last name. If you want more information, just click those check boxes. It defaults to show all the grade center columns that you can see, uh, that you can see. If you had hidden columns and you wanted to show those for some reason, you could just click that checkbox. Um, if you only wanted to show columns in a maybe a test category, for example, you could choose that. So just choose your options under columns. Column information, if you had a description of the column, due date, etc., just check those checkboxes. Um, and again, you can change, these are all optional. Um, as well. So when you have this set as you like, just click Submit and it will show your um, report. There's a page break um, programmed into the report, so this is what it looks like. I'm using Chrome and I would recommend using Chrome for the browser when you're doing this. Then you just right click anywhere in the report and choose Print. From there, depending on your printer, you can see that it's page one of four. And as you scroll down, you can see that that page break that I just showed you breaks it between each student. Okay. And then you probably, if you're showing this to students, you probably, if you have a two-sided, you know, default, you want to uncheck that so that each student just has one page. And then just click print and you're ready to go. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the TLC. Thank you.